Hi, I'm Karen Quinn, co-founder of TestingMom.com, and let me guess, you have a child who will soon be taking the KBIT2, and you want to know more about that test. The KBIT2 is an individually administered test of verbal and nonverbal ability that's used for children ages 4 and older. It can be given very quickly, in about 20 minutes, and it's often used to screen for gifted children. Sometimes schools actually place children into gifted programs if they score well on the KBIT2. In other schools, the child must first do well on the KBIT2 to qualify for further testing required to get into a gifted program. The verbal portion of the test has two types of questions, verbal knowledge and riddles. The nonverbal portion is made up of matrices that assess fluid thinking skills or the ability to solve problems by perceiving relationships between shapes and figures and by completing analogies. Here are some examples of the types of questions a child might see on the KBIT2. This is a figural matrix or visual analogy question, which is one of the most common types of questions found on any intelligence test. The child must decide what the relationship is between the figures on top, then choose an answer that goes into the empty box that will create the same relationship between the two figures on the bottom. Here, the second answer is correct. There are verbal knowledge questions on the KBIT2. Here, the child is shown six pictures and asked to point to the one that best represents the word mentioned. In this case, the child would be asked to point to molding. D is the answer. There are also riddles on the KBIT2. For example, what is a person called when they go on trial and the jury decides after hearing all the facts of the case that he or she committed the crime? The answer is guilty. These are just a few examples of the types of questions that are on the KBIT2. The questions are easier for younger children and they become quite difficult for older kids.